Larry here, Xbox Live's Major Nelson here with Sam Lake. Sam, how are you? Great. I want to talk to you a little bit today about the single player campaign in Quantum Break. Tell us what we can expect. Quantum Break is an intense story driven action game spectacle. And we saw a glimpse of that at Xbox briefing presentation here at Gamescom. And we have plenty more to show now. Let's talk about some of the gameplay. You've got this concept of amplified time. Time amplified. Time amplification. Action right. gameplay. That, that is the core action experience. Uh, main character, Jack Joyce, has time manipulation powers that give the player uh, a really nice, exciting tool set. What are some of the weapons that are going to be available in Quantum? You, as the player, have your time powers. You can freeze time in a focused area. You can shoot your bullets into that frozen time where you have caught your enemy. And when that frozen time collapses, they get an extra boost. We saw also player catastrophes or time stutters. Now, sure. it's kind of self-explanatory, but why don't you go into a little more depth? That is a big, unique part of, of Quantum Break. Time is breaking down, uh, time is stuttering. There is always danger involved. You will have you know, more story-focused scenes where time is frozen and whatever was happening is caught into that moment. And then there are much more destructive, violent moments of, of timelines crashing into each other. And then you need to be using your time powers just to survive. There are also specific, more unstable objects and characters caught in the stutters, and, and you can use your time powers to release them. Now, there's a lot going on, and players can make a lot of choices in Quantum Break. What are some of the choices that we can make, and how it will affect the storyline? We are focusing on the gameplay, but obviously, kind of, uh, it's, a, it's a fusion of a cinematic action game and a top-of-the-line live-action show. The game and the show are tied together in multiple ways that the player can affect with their choices. The biggest way you'll be doing this is that at the end of each act in the game, there, there is this specific junction uh, in time. And our bad guy that you will be playing in these scenes, uh, Paul Serene, has the most powerful time power of all. He can see glimpses of different timelines and you can explore them and then you make a choice which timeline you want to become the actual future. And right after that act, we always go into an episode of the show and immediately there you will have custom content. All the choices carry on from that Chaksha moment all the way to the end of the game. Sam Lake from Remedy Entertainment. Sam, thank you for your time today. Thank you. I think I can feel a time feel a time stutter coming on. How do I get out of this?